guys, check this out. Prado zirconia from the Dolomites. In this video we show you the difference between our minimal reduced zirconia structures in the incisal area, and conventional monolithic zirconia structures. Both structures are glazed first. This firing serves as an adhesive bond for the fresco ceramic pastes. Only after the 3D glaze has been applied and fired, the final color of our zirconia appears. Afterwards the tooth surface is characterized with our 3D stains, and then fired again. For comparison 100% monolithic right, minimally reduced incisal area and filled with fresco ceramic left. Here you can see in detail how we apply our new fresco pastes, and how we achieve natural and silky smooth surfaces in the tooth and gingiva area, by a slow and efficient firing process. After the firing process, and the shaping of the tooth surfaces, natural, aesthetic results can be achieved. The cutback has a very small reduction, about 0.3 millimeters. Cause of that, and the new blue lightning stain in our 3D stain set by Enrico Steger. A strong translucent effect can be indicated. Due to the intensity of the new stain, enamel effects can be applied very thinly. As a result of this fact, it is possible for the light to pass through the painted zircona structure at any time. And this creates a natural deepness in your structure. And as we all know the best comes to the end. Here you can see how the two structures fit together without any problems in a natural environment. The minimal cutback variant integrates more naturally than the monolithic structure. Due to the animal fresco paste a higher translucency can be achieved. The monolithic structure, on the other hand, offers a bright, luminous opacity. So seen, there is something for every taste. Thanks for watching, and never forget, 